Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, apparently there's an event for May Day, which was actually yesterday, I think it's the 2nd of May now, uh, but it will continue until the 7th, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, basically, you go to uh, Tom Nook in the, the uh, resident services, and you will receive a special May Day ticket for going to a special like remote island thing, so let's go do that. Um, I already talked to Tom off screen, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, he sent the ticket to the airport, so let's see what it does. Um, I have had a look uh, on a friend's game at what actually happens next. Um, hopefully it's like randomized so I don't do exactly the same thing. I'll let you know if it looks exactly the same. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only get gateway to the skies, the Cantalot Airport. Oh, it's you, good timing. I got a Mayday ticket from Tom Nook with Danielle written on it, which makes it yours. When you want to use this ticket, you just gotta say the magic words, I wanna fly. Got it? So, Danielle, you got anything to tell me? I wanna fly. Roger. By the way, I got a Mayday ticket with your name on it behind the desk here, so take advantage of it. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where do you wanna go? Use Mayday ticket. You ready to go on the tour with your Mayday ticket? Roger that. This Mayday ticket is a special trip to a faraway island. It's all organised by Tom Nook. As for what awaits you there, you'll just have to find out when you land. For this tour, you have to go empty-handed. We'll hold on to all your belongings here at the counter. Don't worry, we'll be sure to return them when you get back. So, wanna stow your luggage and head, on, head out on the Mayday tour? Time for takeoff. Alright, let's get you airborne. This is the only, only tour I've been on where they actually take your inventory, so this is a bit different. Uh, this is how the island worked in um, New Leaf, you could visit an island, and you went with an empty inventory. Uh, okay, have a good flight, friend, and we need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? So, I don't know if this is going to be similar to the New Leaf Island. Um, that was a really good place to catch expensive bugs, um, and bring a whole bunch of them back, and then you could sell them and make a lot of money. And we have Touchdown, you're at your Mayday Tour destination. Now, this tour is different than most. Whole Island's a giant maze. Nothing in aerial view wouldn't help, but that's not why we're here. This is a navigation tour. You copy? The point is to find your way through. We've stowed your gear back at the airport counter, so you'll start this mission with empty wings. Or hands. We big shot bird types rely on our inner radar to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick. But you groundbound goslings will have to zero in on whatever you can find in the maze to reach your target. If you get stuck or ground or lost in a fog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue service on your phone. Our whiskered allies will reset things so you can refuel, regroup, and restart the maze. If you ever feel like you need a little extra intel, I might have a hint or two for you. So, time to get going, right about... November Oscar Whisker! Good luck, and wheels up. Alright, so... Hmm, this is the maze. It looks somewhat similar to the one I saw on, on my friend's game, so I'm not sure they've randomised this. Um, I'll just get going and we'll see. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing in my inventory. Just empty. Uh, that's a shovel, so we're gonna need that. Uh, we can use this shovel. To bring it out. Uh, we can use it to move these little holly bushes. So we can go over here, fill in that hole, there we go, to get this cherry. And as you may know, in this game, you can eat fruit to gain superpowers. So we have to eat the cherry, and then, now that we have superpowers, we can dig up this tree. There we go. And that lets us advance forward. Uh, there's a hole in the ground here, uh, like a, like there's water or whatever. You have to jump over it like this. We can't jump sideways, so it stops us from going the other directions. Uh, there's another tree there, but we can't get through, so we're going to go a different way for the moment. Uh, we can't get any of these sticks either, because we have to keep jumping in a straight line. Okay, here we can get some stuff. Uh, Rover's over there. I'm guessing that's where we want to go, but we're not there yet. We probably want to be very careful what actions we take, because these these fruits are not renewable, um, as far as I know. So if we do the wrong thing, we're going to be stuck without necessary fruits. Okay, one stick. Let's get all three of them, uh, and that bit of stone as well. Uh, so eating a fruit lets you, uh, as we saw already, it lets you uh, dig up a tree. It also lets you break one rock. And you can see there are rocks blocking the path as well, so we're probably going to need to use fruit to get past them. 
Uh, what else do we have here? We have a worn axe. I believe that means it will work for one tree and then break. So, looks like a normal axe, but it's called a worn axe. Alright. Uh, so I think we can cut down exactly one tree with that axe. Uh, for example, maybe this one? Or maybe one of those. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, our resources are very limited, so I'm a little scared to take actions here. <laughs> Um, let me see. Oh yeah, that goes there. Uh, go this way, maybe? It's down here. No, that's blocked off as well. I kind of wish you could move the camera a little further back for this maze, but you, you can't. You also can't pick up these uh, hedges, by the way. They are stuck in place. Uh, in case you thought you could cheat that way. Let's try going this way. Two... Three. Yeah, so you get exactly three wax out of a worn axe and then it breaks. But that's okay because now we can sit on this stump here and grab this stuff on the other side. There we go. Okay, so we have two cherries, we have some wood, we have some tree branches, we have some other stuff. Spin ourselves around, there we go. Uh, let me see. Uh, we can get rid of this tree by eating a berry and we get two berries back, so that might be a good move. Jump. Sorry, cherry, not, not berry. Uh, there we go. Uh, we can break. Okay, I can see there's a... We want that. We want that uh, iron nugget over there. Uh, we have to get to the right angle to get it, though. Hmm. Oh, we can take out this holly on the sides here, and that'll help us advance a little bit. You can't get past here because there's stuff on the other side, so we can't go that way yet. We can't go this way either, but it might make, come in handy to move these out of the way. Um, I assume it's like a return path that we'll get to later. Yeah, I don't think this has been randomised. This looks pretty much exactly the same layout that I saw on my friend's game. Thankfully, I don't remember how to do it, so... Uh, we're gonna have to figure it out amongst ourselves anyway, so... It doesn't ruin the experience or anything, but... Yeah, this this does seem to be the same. Which is kind of weird. I, I figured they would have made it, made it randomised so that everyone got a slightly different experience, but apparently not. Was it this one that... No, it was the next one. Okay, there we go. Jump here. And then jump across here. Okay, so we can break this rock, as I mentioned earlier. If we eat a cherry, like so, which gives us fruit powers, we can break the rock, like that. And then we can grab this. Uh, I think we want to probably eat another cherry, so I can move this tree out of the way. So let's just uh, get past where it was. Do, do, do. And we can get to here. Um, we're going to need probably three cherries or an axe to get through there. Um, hmm. Okay, I know there's a crafting table around here, so let's try to get to the crafting table. Uh, not that way. <laughs> Maces are hard. Uh, let's see, okay, so we go around this way, we go around here, we go around here. Okay, this will work, yeah. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Yeah, and then we can jump over these, and then we want to break that rock so we can get through. We have enough cherries to do that, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we do. Eat! Nom nom nom. You can see you get nothing for breaking the tree, so that's a bit annoying. Flimsy axe recipe? Axe recipe. Interesting. So they give us the other axe recipes when we get to here. I didn't I didn't think we didn't have recipes. Do we need to read them or No, we still have we still have all our recipes. I guess that's just if you didn't happen to have them, you could do it this way. But like if you just started the game and you hadn't learned how to make an axe yet, you wouldn't get stuck. Okay, so now that we're here, we can craft a real axe. Uh we make a flimsy axe. And then we can upgrade it using some iron ingots. I think, I think it's iron ingots. Let's, let's see. Yeah, um, nuggets, iron nuggets and some wood. There we go. Okay, so now we have a real ax. That one will last long enough to cut down all three of those trees, probably longer. So we want to go back this way. Uh, 
then I think this way? Yeah. Okay, then we can cut down the trees and we've made our way around here. Uh, no, that's not right. What have I done wrong? Mazes are annoying. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, basically a little hole to stopping you from moving, uh, from changing direction when you're running through these, these like, branches. Which is clever. Um... So a clever little trick they're playing. Oh, wait, no, hang on. We go around this way? No. Okay, no, I was in the right spot before. Okay. Uh, mazes are annoying. <laughs> okay, yeah, we jump over here, then we go down here. Then we go across here. Uh, there was a tree here, but I got rid of it. And then we can go through here. And get our, our real axe out. This one should last long enough to get all three of these trees out of our way. Okay, so tree one's gone. Let's just sit where it was. Take down tree two, there we go. I think an axe lasts maybe 15 wax, I'm not sure. Which is enough to take down five trees? Yes, five trees. <laughs> Numbers. Uh, okay, so we've made it to here. Uh, let's talk to Rover. Hi, Rover. You made it to the goal, huh? Hey, have we met before? You seem kind of familiar, but... Oh, sorry, I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately, and I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island. It's uh, a pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here, anyway? Uh, Tom Nook sent me. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here, too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. He told me he put together a very interesting attraction on this island, I should check it out. If I didn't expect to find a maze, Mia ha ha ha! What a surprise! So, if you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? <laughs> it sure does! Yep, it's amazing! <laughs> Neat! I hear Nook's been putting a ton of work into that place. What was it called again? Oh yeah, Cantalot, right? Ding ding ding! Mia ha ha ha! I knew it! Hey, you're pretty interesting, you know? If all you island folks are this much fun, I bet Cantalot's great! You got a name, by the way? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Danielle, eh? Great name, great name. Thank you. I'm glad we met, Danielle. I want to commemorate this occasion by giving you a gift. It's a leaf. It's so great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I really didn't expect to have this much fun here. One thing's for sure, I'm hoping fate will bring us together again sometime. See you later. Okay, so we now have... what did we get? Rover's briefcase. Okay, I guess that's an item. Uh, let's switch back to our shovel now. Uh, in here, I believe these are bell vouchers, so we can just grab a bunch of those. They are bell vouchers, yes. Uh, our bell voucher is worth 3,000 bells when you sell it, so... Grabbing a bunch of those is just like grabbing a bunch of money, except in voucher form, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why it needs to be in voucher form, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, let's get rid of these as well. And that gives us a way back. Uh, we haven't reached whatever's on the other side yet, though. Um, if we run over, you can see there's something there behind all those rocks. So, let's see if we can reach that. Uh, we can use our axe to cut down that tree. Do we want to, though? I don't think we need to. Let's just dig up the, uh, whatchamacallits. The holly bushes that are in the way. There we go. And then we can go around this way. Da -da 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 -da. Um, okay, I only have one fruit, and I think the maze doesn't have any more to offer. So I can only break one rock. What am I missing here? Um, hmm. Hmm. It's not like a fruit tree, no. Hmm. I could bury the fruit, but I don't think I can actually wait multiple days for the tree to grow. Uh, I don't think the game will let me do that. While on a secret island or whatever. Did I mess up? Did I do it wrong somehow? Because I don't see how I'm going to get all those other bell vouchers. Hmm. Can I, can I reset the maze? You said you'd do that. Hang on. For the love of Nook's ever-flying fitted sheep, did you saw through the entire maze, Danielle? Uh, I did. Way to saw through. You'll have to let old Nook know. 
Oop, put the air brake on. Seems you have something on you these pilot's eyes have never seen before. Let me get this straight. You got it from someone who just happened to be hovering around this island? Well then, Dodo Airlines will proudly deliver your prize to your home. One dearly of a mayday tour, uh huh? Squawk the word and we're you back to your home hangar. Oh, if you're stuck, grounded, lost in a fog bank, whatever, just hail the rescue service on your phone. I wish good outliers will reset things so you can refuel, regroup, and restart the maze. Okay, so I guess I need to use the rescue service. I haven't done that before, let's have a look at it. Call rescue service? Call. Thanks for your call, you've reached the rescue service hotline. Let's see, you are... I got it, this is Danielle of Canterlot, right? Hey pal, you're a first time user, right? Let me lay out the nuts and bolts of the service for you. We're here to help you out when you get yourself stuck somewhere. Give us a call and... Faster than you can say, Earthworm Sandwich, we transport you someplace nice and safe. Revolutionary tech, how's it work? Trade secret, you nosy noodle. Seriously, leave it alone. Fee structure simple. A single rescue will cost you 100 miles. That's 100 nook miles. What do you say? Yeah, that's, that's really cheap. Good call. Let me just take those 100 miles up front. Hey, you're one of them Maze Island. You're on one of them Maze Islands. Tom Nook set up, ain't ya? In that case, I'm supposed to drop you where the planes land so you can start over. You good with that? Yes, please. You got it. Ready, set, go. Let's see. Huh? This is the right button, ain't it? I think this is it. Only one way to find out. Rangers, go. Looks like the rescue service folks took care of you, Danielle. The island's been reset back to the way it was, so feel free to attempt the maze mission again if you like. If you get restuck, I'm sure the rescue service will help again. It keeps them from getting bored. Take a moment to get yourself together and get back in there. Fly proud. Okay, what do I have now? Uh, I still have Rover's briefcase, but I think everything else got reset. Yeah, all the all the Holly's back. Okay, let's give this another try. Uh, first step, definitely we want we want to get that uh, get that out of there. I guess I used too many berries. Maybe I can avoid using it on trees as much if I do things a little differently. Hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely need to do this first. There's nothing else you can do at that point. There's just like no no nothing else to work with. So you have to start by eating this cherry. Okay. Uh, then I can dig up this. There we go. Okay, and then... Hmm... I'm gonna leave that one where it is for now, because then I can potentially cut it down later once I have the good axe and use two berries, and get two berries instead of one. Uh... Grab that. I probably want to try to save my cherries for uh, when I actually want to well, like take down a rock because you can only do that with cherries, whereas the axe you could use to get rid of the trees instead. Um, like so. You want to go this way. I guess that's a rock. There's no other way to get rid of that, so I have to eat a berry. I don't have any berries. Did I forget to get one? Um, hmm. There's one there. I can get this wood. Hang on, maybe it's maybe it's something else I can do over this way. Hey, Rover. Do, do, do. Yeah, I can't break that. Like, if I hit it just like that, say nothing happens. Hmm, what am I missing? Oh, right, yeah, you get the axe there. Okay, okay, okay. And that's just, and that's the worn axe that breaks after one use. I think I want to cut this spot with the worn axe so I can get those berries. I'm calling them berries, but they're clearly cherries. I don't know. Yeah, I go down the middle here, and I grab this, and then I can go back to that tree I was talking about, which is over here, and that gives me two cherries and another stick. Yeah, I, I think the basic idea is you don't ever want to, like, transplant a tree here, uh, except that first one because it's unavoidable. Uh, because the rocks you can only get rid of using fruit, and the uh, trees you can get rid of... No. You know, yes, you can get rid of the trees in other ways, the rocks you can't. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, this is the wrong way. 
yeah, jump over there. Run, 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 run. Yeah, this isn't randomized, so I will be showing the solution. I'll, I'll put a warning on the video to let people know, you know, this is the solution to the puzzle. So if you don't want to know what the solution is, don't, don't watch this. Okay, so yeah, we want to use cherries when we eat them only to break rocks. So here's a rock, let's break it. And we get back the cherry we spent. Uh, we can get some recipes, but uh, we don't really need them, but let's get them anyway. Oh, oh right, this tree is here. Hmm. 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 Well, I can't get to a crafting bench any other way. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to I need to eat another fruit for this one. Let's let's hope that's the right solution because this is a, this is tricky. Okay, then I can dig up this tree, and I can jump over it, and then I can make a good axe. Was I supposed to use the axe to get to the crafting table instead? I don't think I can though. Hmm. Oh, iron nugget, right. Yeah, I need that. Alright, well, I have a flimsy axe, which is a good start, but I really want to upgrade it so that it won't it's accidentally break in the middle of the puzzle, because that'd be real bad. Um, um, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, I need to get over that side, so I need to loop around here. Um, really hoping I'm doing this correctly. Okay, then I jump over here, then I go down this way, then I go across this way, then I can break this by eating one of my cherries. Okay, so I've transplanted two trees and I've broken two rocks. There we go. Okay, so now we have the iron nugget. We want to go all the way back around so we can get to the crafting table again. Yeah, this, this maze layout is pretty wacky. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da -bum -ba -dum. Okay, uh, now we're here, we can make a better axe. And then we can use that axe to cut down all the trees and not have to use up any more fruit, so hopefully we'll be okay. Fingers crossed, y'all. <laughs> I said y'all ironically. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, we jump this way, we jump this way, we jump this way, we can cut down this tree. And that lets us jump on here and get all of these without having to eat any more berries. Or cherries, regardless. Either way, we don't have to eat them. Use whichever word makes you happier. <laughs> okay, and then we go around here. We go around here. Yeah, we go around here. We go down here. We say the word here a lot. Yeah, we jump over this. We can cut this down. Clunk, clunk, clunk. So talking to Rover again give us another prize, or I mean we kept it, so probably not. It didn't reset that part. Oh, uh, by the way, the music for the rescue service I recognized. Uh, that is the music that played when Resetti visited in previous games. So I assume Resetti is running the rescue service now. Uh, he was a mole in the previous games. He would show up when you turned off the game without saving, because the idea is it's supposed to be like real life, and you can't reset real life without saving. Um, in this game they've removed that because he has- we have autosave, so Rossetti is apparently now running the rescue service instead. Which makes sense because it's like a reset. Were you able to finish the maze like you wanted by the way? If you want to restart, you can do so by using the rescue service app on your Nook phone. Okay, yeah, I already did that. Thank you. Uh, okay, so let's... I'm used to the shovel being on the right because of the way I normally arrange the tools. I think I have the vaulting pole at the top. Anyway, I grab this and this. Okay, and then we can go around to the other side, and how much fruit do we have? Three. That's exactly the right number. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay. So you need to plant- you need to dig up exactly two trees, and you need to use all of the other cherries available, or whatever fruit you have. I'm guessing it's your native fruit, to break rocks. And that's how you get in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna eat all of these. Uh, nom 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 nom. Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. Do, 
Okay, so we just got another, what is that? Five? Yeah, another five. So you get five... Yeah, another 15,000 bells? That's pretty good. For, for doing the maze the correct way. Cool. Okay, um, well that's the Mayday maze. Um, I'm going to put a disclaimer on the video saying, hey, this is the solution to the puzzle, because apparently it's not randomized. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the maze. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're, I'm gonna head back and show you what the item you get looks like. Attention on deck, what's next on your flight plan? Time to head home. We'll make sure all your things are back in your pockets once we're on the ground at Cantalot. However, the gift you receive from your New Island friend will send that directly to your house. Same goes for any bell vouchers you might have acquired while here. Find them at your mailbox shortly. And that wraps it up. Right, wraps us up. Ready for takeoff? Yep. So the reason it's in... There's no one coming back to this same Mayday tour. Not that there's much left on your checklist. Ready to go? Yep. Uh, the reason they're sending my gifts and stuff to my mailbox is because my inventory could have been completely full when I left and there'd be no room for these extra items, so instead they're going to the mailbox. The game didn't actually say that, because you're obviously you're watching, you didn't see it say that, but I guessed very easily. Because <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> okay, um, so let's go to the mailbox and see if they're already there. I don't know if they will be. That was a fun puzzle, I liked it. I kind of wish they'd randomise it so that there were multiple possible puzzles. Yeah, it's already here, see, immediately. Uh, Thanks for choosing Dodo Airlines, the only way to fly. In close, please find any bell vouchers we held for you during your recent Mayday tour. So it should be nine in there. Thank you for using Dodo Airlines. In close, please find the prize you received from Rover during your Mayday tour. If you're ever at a loss, remember to ask yourself, what would Dodos do? Your pals at Dodo Airlines. Thanks, Dodo Airlines. Okay, so I didn't bring the trees with me. I thought I might, but I didn't. Uh, let's unwrap these parcels. Let's find out what Rover's briefcase looks like. And yeah, there's the vouchers. Okay, so yeah, we did well. I'm glad they give you the option to reset, and I'm also glad, I think, that it uses the rescue service so it isn't free, because resetting too much would just be annoying. So they want you to get it right the first time, or failing that the second time. There's the briefcase. Uh, let's take it inside so we can look at all the sides properly. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, so yeah. The key to this puzzle is transplant as few trees as possible because it's very expensive in terms of fruit and you want to conserve your fruit, basically. Okay, so there's the briefcase. Uh, you can see it's got little stickers all over it. Are the front and back the same? No, they're different. There's different stickers on every side. Uh, that's, that's pretty nice, actually. Can I interact with it? No, it's just, it's, just, it's just decorative, but it's still cool. Oh, it wibbles a bit sometimes. Oh, that's when I grab it to move it. Okay. Okay, anyway, yeah, you get the briefcase. You also get, uh, what is that, nine? 27,000 bells if you do it right. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm not sure what it'll be next time, but yeah, remember to go on a Mayday tour yourself if you haven't yet. It's not hard. Um, it took me, you know, two tries to solve the puzzle correctly. Um, and 100 miles, which is not a lot. Um, and yeah, it's super fun. Uh, cool. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!